Andrei Tarkovsky's The Sacrifice centers on Alexander, a renowned professor, journalist, writer, and ex-actor. Alexander's fascination for everything Japanese is apparent from the choice of his music to the kimono he wears during the film's climactic sequence. On the eve of his birthday, during a family reunion, the dawn of war breaks, which will lead to devastation of the utmost scale, a devastation which is portrayed via prophetic visions of fearful citizens running for their lives lives, abandoning the streets only to be occupied by the wake of destruction. Alexander, so steeped in fear, prays to God for the safety of his family, of his friends, of the people who no longer follow God, and of the people who have lost their ways. But for this protection, Alexander vows to give up everything to avoid the war, his family, his belongings, everything. Andrei Tarkovsky's The Sacrifice explores the depths of fear and anxiety of humanity when faced with disturbing uncertainties. Alexander seeks peace and comfort during this distressing time. Whereas others in his family require sedation, Alexander attempts to numb the fears with alcohol and eventually, with the intimate embrace of his housekeeper Maria, she offers a comfort to Alexander that is maternal. Her hushed whispers attempt to provide hope for Alexander as he weeps mid-embrace, their bodies entangled and floating like a single angelic entity. Prophetic visions flood of a world where the war fills everybody with no nothing but fear, an indication of Alexander's anxieties increasingly becoming more difficult to avoid. Alexander, after viewing the disturbing report regarding the dawn of war, is so haunted, desperate to avoid life's end any way possible, he is grasping for any relief. Whether it's the semi-sexual companionship of his housekeeper, or the spiritual relief that his connection to God could provide, Alexander's fears take the form of seamless dreamlike sequences. These sequences may not necessarily be literal dreams, but maybe daydreams, imaginings, or glimpses into the future. Whatever they may be, they hold a prophetic quality, as if Alexander's anxieties inform us of what is potentially to come. During one sequence, he slowly walks through mud. Clothes, papers, and belongings are trodden deep into the mud as the sound of wind and panic rises. Alexander sees his son, frequently referred to as Little Man, and panics. This sequence is similar to a nightmare where a loved one, in distress, is seen in the distance, but the dreamer is unable to reach them in time. Alexander's experience in this anxiety almost constantly. When Alexander actually commits to the act of sacrificing everything to God, he writes a letter encouraging his family to temporarily leave the home, during which he spends the time gathering easy-to-burn items together and light them, causing a flame to, incredibly swiftly, take life. The flame engulfs the home as Alexander and his returning family watch on. This sacrificial action isn't dissimilar to the Japanese act of Harakiri. Alexander attempts to sacrifice everything honourably, keeping his promise to God, similar to how a samurai sacrifices their life to preserve their own honour. Although everyone in Alexander's family is fearful and uncertain after having experienced the harrowing news report regarding the beginning of a war, it is Alexander who felt the urge to offer a sacrifice. Alexander was so desperate, searching intensely for a solution to avoid the war, that he relied on a spiritualist train of thought that believed in sacrificing everything he could to provide proof to God that he is genuine in his desperation, verging on madness. During this long, wide take of the home burning, an ambulance appears. Two paramedics attempt to get Alexander into the back of the vehicle. The implication is that Alexander is not a well man, and has likely not been well for a while. The attempt at a family reunion at his rural home for his birthday may have intended to be a sweet-natured, calming, and stoic gesture of support for Alexander. Subtle implications are made throughout the film that suggests Alexander had been having difficulties with his mental health. An early example is when, during a monologue amongst the trees nearby his home, little man sneaks up on Alexander playfully, but this action genuinely startles Alexander, forcing him into a defensive reaction which causes injury to Little Man. 
Alexander has been suffering with a heightened vulnerability and sensitivity which the news report regarding the incoming war likely pushed over the edge. Wide speculations can be explored as to what Alexander might be suffering with, but it's clear that he is suffering. The appearance of the ambulance suggests that Alexander's mental health struggles had been recognised by his family. Alexander has finally sacrificed all he owns to God, and unintentionally also sacrificed his own mental well-being, as he is forced into the back of the ambulance and driven away. In conclusion, Andrei Tarkovsky's The Sacrifice explores a universally understood emotion, fear. Fear of the uncertain, fear of the end, fear of an impending doom. Alexander is pushed to his limits due to this fear, rekindling a spiritual connection to God. It's unlikely that he had actually prayed all that often beforehand, and grasping for any possible solutions and suggestions for comfort in a time of uncertainty. This is a universal exploration. The sacrifice can reflect our anxieties in troubling times, and just like such troubling times, consequences suffered by humanity can be unpredictable.